Hi, welcome to my channel, Modest Vegan Chick. I am back with part two of my makeup organization, and um, I totally did a um, a little bit of furniture rearranging. <laughs> So where it was in a more open space, I uh, moved it um, in a more, I don't know, I think it looks better there. Um, but yeah, and my TV is actually above it. Um, so the African statue that you see is hiding wires because um, I haven't taken the time to properly, you know, put the wires inside the wall. The correct way but anyway so this is my new setup and um, I do like it better in this um, space so I'm gonna go ahead and start in with the organization so I cleaned up everything um, this is the stuff over here that didn't make the cut <laughs> a lot of its trash empties and um, some of my cleaning stuff I used and such so yeah not a lot but you know, and some of that isn't trash. I just need to move it somewhere else, maybe, or something. But, yeah. All right. So, started with my Muji container. Um, cleaned it up really nice. And rearranged some of the makeup. Yeah, a lot of things, as you can see, are still not cruelty-free uh, products. But I'm going to go ahead and keep them for now. I don't want to throw them away. Makeup is, you know, you don't want to just give makeup away. It's kind of more personal, you know. So I'm just going to hold on to them for now. But, yeah, I moved a few things around. Um, I didn't really know where else to put these. But I actually found these. <laughs> Forgot I had them. And they're just perfume roller balls. And this is um, Juicy Couture. And then I have another um, polo one back there. So I just stuck them there for now. Um, but yeah, the makeup's pretty much the same. I just rearranged a lot of things, put my little Jo Malone, um, candle, empty candle holder here, and just have a eyelash curler hanging out in it, um, uh, Elizabeth and James perfume that I love. So yeah, so I'm gonna go through the drawers real quick, um, and just let you see what's different. This one's pretty much the same. I don't use this stuff a lot, so it pretty much stays pretty neat just needed to clean it up um, and then this drawer lots of changes <laughs> put all my NARS I like to group thing, things by brand instead of like all the eyeshadows in one drawer and eyeliners in one drawer and blush in one drawer I like to do things by brand I think it just looks better especially when you have an acrylic organizer like this where you can see the stuff um, so I put all of my NARS compacts together and some more NARS things, and then whatever would fit. <laughs> so I did that. This drawer here. And by the way, if you didn't see part one, this is um, two different Muji organizers, the three drawer and the two drawer wide. Okay. All right, so a lot of changes here. Tarte stuff in this drawer mostly. And then my Becca, Becca stuff here, and some Smashbox. Okay. And this drawer still has my MAC quads and Fashion Fair stuff back there. My Sonia Kashuk back there. And I like the two drawer because you can stack the two, two drawer wide, you can stack things on top. So, that. And then my Marc Jacobs things, you know, here. Okay. So I think that turned out pretty good. <laughs> I like how it looks from the outside. Everything looks very good together, color-wise. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's get down to the drawers. All right. Um, in here, voila. <laughs> Got things back the way they should be. Got all of my lippies together like they're supposed to be. And then here's just more lip stuff and then mascara and um, eye pencils back there. 
and then this is all lip pencils and lip products and such. And then I have a random, actually, I probably could put this over here. That was a random blush. All right, so still got all of my Wet n Wild um, little palettes there. And then powder compacts here all together. Lip gloss, lipstick, okay, and then all of my Milani, um, this is just in the way, all of my Milani um, eyeshadow and some blushes as well um, in here, okay. Um, all of my eyeshadow palettes lined up here, my MAC palettes in place, some more Wet n Wild larger eyeshadow palettes, so I think this drawer turned out pretty well. I don't know what to do with you. Elf blush. <laughs> I'll just stick it back over there. All right, drawer number two. Much better. <laughs> this was the longest, most time consuming drawer that I had, but it looks the best. Um, so I cleaned up all of my foundations and powders and such. Got all of my Benai powders back there. Love the Benai powders. Ben, ben eye powders. Um, yeah, all of my primers, eye primers, face primers. A lot of these are samples, but yeah, I just put all those together. My foundations here. Um, got some um, Becca Luminous Skin Color. I really like this. Um, but yeah, I put all of these together like they're supposed to be and clean them up. Yeah, all the powders. And these are just pamphlets that came with a lot of my palettes and things. So I didn't want to throw them away, so I just corralled them there. This is all of my beauty, uh, not beauty, um, facial cleansers and moisturizers and things like that um, that I put together here. Um, cocoa butter and such. And then back here, I still have my... Um, um, this is also, I guess, face cleansers as well. Um, makeup remover, that's what this is. Makeup remover wipes, cleanser. Um, I have my brush cleaning glove. I just stuck it in here, okay, that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's perfect for doing, for cleaning your makeup brushes. And then my MAC brush cleaner, still back here. And then I did have a large rather large bottle of baby shampoo that I use to clean my brushes. That's my new way that I clean brushes now. Much cheaper. But instead of having the whole bottle, I just got a little travel size bottle and put the little label on it. And so much easier to keep in the drawer instead of the whole bottle, which I keep now in my bathroom cabinet. All of my brushes together, not on top, collecting dust, but inside the drawer, I think it's much better. And then these are just some makeup cases bags, I mean, um, this is a mirror, and then some miscellaneous makeup tools. So yeah, I like how that drawer turned out. And then the last drawer, which has all of my, well not all, but most of my hair accessories and tools. So still have my blow dryer, and this is my Vera Bradley um, travel um, flat iron case. Some my flat irons in there, and then some other curling irons and attachments. My hair accessories, um, hair clips, uh, wave clips, bobby pins, and hair bands, things like that. Um, like I mentioned in part one, I got these containers from the container store. And these black containers that I have, these are called scubs, I think. And you get those from Ikea. I think they come in a... a a pack of five or six I'm not sure <laughs> but they're really nice and they fit the IKEA drawers very nicely um, so just some miscellaneous hair stuff another um, container has ponytail holders so yeah all of that stuff in there and then I put all of my combs and brushes and um, straightening comb all that stuff in this um, in the middle here, which is the original spot. <laughs> Everything's in their original spot. It's just, you know, sometimes in a rush day to day, you don't put things back where they're supposed to, <laughs> or they're supposed to be. But yeah, so that's pretty much um, 
the organization and um, hopefully I can keep it this way but like I mentioned in part one as well I will be moving soon so all of this um, will change very soon my phone's ringing I'm gonna pause real quick <laughs> Okay, so thanks again for watching. Totally appreciate you. Um, I do want to mention real quick, I did find a home for those perfume samples that I had. I had a vase around the house. This was actually a candy dish that I had. So I used this to put all of those perfume samples that I had. And I think it turned out pretty good, um, especially since I already had one around the house. So, love that. <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching, and please stay tuned. More videos to come. Thanks again. Bye.